Hi my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters, Meditations, I'm coming in with the Lenaman. So come and join me, I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and it's an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting likely then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well Hi Scorpio, this is Shah and this is your reading for the 3rd to the 9th of August and I hope you are all well. Your first card is the Page of Cups. There could be a young person, a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces bringing you news or an offer. No, sorry, not an offer, because that's what the knight does. But it, he could be bringing you news about love or passion or nurturing. Something that you are nurturing and you might be concerned about it. And let's say you are nurturing a child and you're taking care of them, because that's what the cups stand for and you love them and you're passionate about them. And you might uh, want some extra info, in, uh, information on how to help this child. This child could also be very sensitive as it is a water sign and it, it could be an indigo or a rainbow child or a child of the new age. Um, there are several uh, uh, new children, indigo, rainbow, um, I can't remember all of them but off heart but you will know if you are a parent with a gifted child so there might be highly sensitive and you might not be able to cope with it you are, are open to it but you might not be able to understand and you need to seek somebody's advice and you did that and you're getting news or you could be meeting one of the water signs like I said you have the four of vessels look at her she is bored quite pretty though I love her dress I wish I could have one like that the color of nature going from yellow to green to blue Whoa, nice one I really love that dress well if somebody's out there and is a, a dress designer then perhaps I've started something with you but don't be bored come out of your head take action and see what is around you not just in front of you something is being offered to you and that could be the news okay you're not seeing you're all up in your head because you've got the four of cups and you've got the eight of swords you feel trapped perhaps you feel uh, with your back against the wall or in a corner now you can see that she is quite free to shrug off those uh, ropes or ribbons that she's tied up with or bandages in this deck you can't see her hands but in the other decks you can so she's not tied up she's free to go and to take off that blindfold so do that open your heart open your solar plex open your mind to new ideas don't be in your mind come out of your mind and see what is around you open up your third eye and be open 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 to receive and to see and make decisions and choices okay now you might your heart might be broken you might have lost something you might have lost love you feel you that's why you're up in your head about something you feel emotionally trapped and you don't know what to do next well uh, with the shadow lands you've got the crow wearing um, uh, a, 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 an amulet with uh, swords in it or pins in it and he's hiding behind dark glasses I think that's the best 
um, three of swords that I have seen and here it says journey no jealousy there might be jealousy around you yes that can cause a broken heart but the broken heart doesn't only mean a broken relationship it can also mean a loss of a pet a loss of a loved one a loss of a job a loss of a home loss of a marriage loss of a membership from to a club that you enjoyed I don't know there's a lot of clubs going bankrupt like football clubs and you feel at loss you don't know what to do you wish you could do something about it so get out of your heart and go out there and mingle with people and go and find something there is more on offer than you realize Wow at the end of the week listen to your intuition you've got the high priestess and the high priestess resembles the moon goddess okay usually it is the triple moon goddess she's also known so you could be meeting a Pisces listen to your intuition open your third eye like I said be more spiritual she has the scroll of life she's got answers to all the questions so to me this means be more spiritual do meditation contemplation evaluation listen to your gut feeling intuitions and to new ideas but play the cards close to your chest if you are feeling sad don't wear a mask come out of your mind and shell and open up but don't don't hide your sadness away show your emotions this lady also is very sensitive and knows how to show her emotions but also knows when not to show their emotions so play the cards close to your chest and open up there will be new beginnings as there is a uh, one on offer here and you're not willing to see it and the news is coming in and the ace of vessels the water of life and it, you are a water sign Scorpio so come out of your little shell and go with the flow that is what I'm hearing life doesn't stop nothing stops it carries on even without you you are missing precious time life is short an ace of cups means a new love a new job a new passion nurturing caring sensuality sexuality and it is August we are in a passionate energy we are in a fiery energy action so go for it and get to know new people go out there be the beacon of laughter that is emotion don't be the beacon of crying it's no use crying over spilled milk you've got the king of rods and this man knows what he wants and he goes out there and get it take a page out of his book okay he's logical he's creative he's full of action passion and logic and the king of rods is Aries so you could be meeting an Aries this could be a woman with a masculine side to her that is more business career orientated and steadfast so if you want an Aries then go for it now you've got number five and the ancestor that is the high priest the ancestor is the high priest he is rather tall here and the high priest also represents Taurus the high priest represents Taurus so there could be an uh, a Taurus coming into your life or you might be seeking advice from a mature man that you respect or your father uncle or even a professional if you are down in the dumps and you are stuck in your head because that is the energy at the beginning of the week seek professional advice don't wait it is also concerning your health don't get into a depression because a depression can be a burnout don't go there seek 
advice. You've got a green angel feather, sorry about that. You've got a green angel feather and green means to me space, healing, heart, money, family, family tree. Wow, and we've got the house next to it as well. So definitely um, family is important to you and family tree. Perhaps you might be worried about somebody in the family, a child. Okay, so please be happy with what you've got. Simple things. Don't look at what you don't have. Be happy with what you got or go for what you want. Okay, we have the green angel feather, simple things. The angels would like you to take some time alone to gain a fresh perspective of your life. Yes, alone, but come out of your head. Perhaps you need a break, a holiday. The green angel feather is, a, is presented to you as a symbol of harmony. Green is a secondary color. A mixture of yellow and blue when you recognize how the simple things actually bring you the greatest pleasures you will start to view life with fresh eyes you will feel more connected to the people around you and your relationships may become more balanced renewed and healed like I said it's a healing color it's also the color of the heart chakra, Haniel. <coughs> the angels ask you to develop an attitude of gratitude. So don't look at what you don't have. Look at what you have. You might have children. Okay? Enjoy your children. Time passes very quickly. They grow up immensely quickly and you have the four four means proper foundations something is built as sturdy as a house and I'm putting it that way because that's the message that came into my mind not that I, d I say proper foundations and blah 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 and the house the house means come out of isolation go out there promote yourself for business or make friends come out of your comfort zone don't hide away in the house. I know a house is protection and safe. Look, the front gate is open. Nobody's going to walk in if no, they don't know you. They're not going to knock on your door. You have to come out. The door is closed. So come on. And you've got the King of Cups. Again, water. The King of Cups is the King of Hearts. He's a loving, nurturing man. Again, you could be meeting a man if you're a lady, but you can also meet a lady that is a business, has a business side. So you've got two kings. So you might meet a lady that is and knows how to bring home the bread and support the family and being nurturing, loving, caring, sensual, sexy, or rather handsome. And the same with the king of rods be businesslike, being determined, taking action, but he will do things quickly and the uh, king of water will do it more steadily. And he's always on the go, so if you have a choice between men, then go for the water, because if you want a slower, steady, nurturing, loving man, a man that's more at home then the fire sign because they're always busy uh, like the air signs and taking action and they want the things done fast you can't you know Rome wasn't built in in a day so take your time to build a proper relationship that will last that will make you happy and uh, perhaps somebody that will recognize the simple things in life and if you go, if you do take the uh, uh, an Aries, then uh, make sure you know their boundaries and they know your boundaries, because you'll get burnt out and it won't last. And with the King, that's a Cancer, but don't forget Scorpio or Pisces. 
Wow. Okay, it could be a couple as well, the couple of the same sex, if that's the way. Um, you, if you're a man, you could be meeting a man, okay? Because this could be, uh, no, this could be you, and so you could meet a fire sign or a water sign, okay? But you are in your element. It is a strong, powerful, emotional water. Uh, a water reading so let your emotions go cry spill your heart to a professional if you need to and stand in your strength be open open yourself up and see what is around you there's more around you in you know we've got a saying in in Holland if you don't enjoy the small things or if you yes if you don't uh, appreciate the small things then you're not worth the big things okay kings didn't become kings they be were pages and they had to work their way up and learn to appreciate what was around them and every stage of life I hope you've enjoyed this reading and if you would like to join me tomorrow um, on the online well being fair uh, mind, body and spirit fair you're more than welcome I'll be going live um, in British time, standard time at 12.40 and 6.20 and that will be 1.40 um, in Dutch time and uh, 7.20 in Dutch time too and I will leave a link below in the description box take care, stay safe and if you're on all day Please stay safe and come back safe. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.